when we're trying to consciously manifest something, we are choosing every day to show up as the version of us that already has it, even though we don't have it in the 3D. And some people struggle with this. And I get it. I know when you're new to this, it can be like, well, how can I think I've got it when it's the complete opposite happening? But this is where you have to understand. The 3D is old. And all you have to do in order to change the 3D is to think differently and identify someone different. And I understand sometimes that can feel difficult because it's like, how can I think and embody the version of me that has money, that has wealth, that has the relationship I want, if those are some things that I've never experienced? So this is why you have to persist because at first it's going to feel like you know mm, I don't really know what I'm doing it doesn't really feel natural to me of course it's not going to feel natural to you that's why you're affirming in the first place to create a new belief system we're literally changing like our brain we're changing what we believe and assume to be true okay so this brush was not blushing enough um You've just got to keep going, you know, we just give up so easily when we don't see things happen quickly and we're like, do you know what, the opposite's happening so I must be doing something wrong. But you're not doing anything wrong, you're just giving in to what you've seen in 3D and believing what you've seen in 3D as if it's real. It's not real. What's going on in the 3D? It's old. It's your old thinking in physical form. That's, all it is. That's how I look at it, it's just my old thinking in physical form, okay? So let's catch some of this. That's better, so it's not too much glitter. Um, so I look like I'm waving around like a magic wand. I just don't want to put too much on here, even though there's going to be like glitter all over. Oh, look at that. Oh, now I'm getting carried away. Oh, look at all the glitter. It's so pretty. Um, I could just stab it, but then it, every time I do that, the glitter comes too much, and I don't want too much because I don't want too much. Anyway, so you just got to keep going. You just got to keep persisting. I know sometimes it can be difficult. I know I get it. I know when I was manifesting my husband, I sat at this very desk, like sometimes contemplating, like, am I crazy? But I know manifestation works, so it was a lot easier for me. But if I could take myself back ten years, thirteen years, when I first discovered this. I don't think I would have manifested my SP back in five weeks. I really don't think I would have because I wavered so much back then. Um, but now, because I know how it works, it was a lot easier for me to persist and stay consistent, you know? So it's just, if I was to tell anyone that's new to this, it's just decide what you want. Really think about what you want and then speak into existence as if it's already in your life, you already have it. And you will, you will have it. You, like, there's just no doubt about it. You will have it. You've just got to stand firm in that story. No matter what is going on in the 3D world, okay? Because circumstances don't matter. And we don't say this for no reason, you know? We don't say, oh, circumstances don't matter just for the sake of saying circumstances don't matter. Circumstances really don't matter. Oof. I think I've spread that a bit too, a bit too close. Um, But yeah, circumstances don't matter. And... You are the creator in your reality and you're the one that decides what happens. Whether you believe that or not, just try it. Start affirming for something random. Start affirming for something like silly that you don't really care about and watch it be made manifest. And you're like, wow, if I can manifest this, then I can manifest anything, you know? So just keep going, my loves. Keep going and don't give up.